what is the next big thing in the women leadership in the corporate? Well, if you're interested, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Sophia Jogi. I'm a mid-career coach for women. I work on the leadership aspect of the women, how they can themselves. Women are natural leaders. And uh, when I see that there are some um, gaps between what they can do in the corporate and what they miss as a leader when they go to the corporates. So today, let's look at a special topic where we are seeing at what is the future of leadership when it comes to women going to be or in general for that matter. Okay, so um, according to Forbes recently, uh, what they're saying is it's going to be a virtual leadership. Now when we say virtual leadership, we might be thinking that it's because we are on the Zoom calls or we are uh, far apart, our virtual leadership is more important. In a sense it's true, but what we mean by virtual leadership is that your very presence is needed when you lead a team. Okay? Which means, if I lead a team, even in my absence, people should feel my presence. Which means, you have to be influential in such a way that everything that you say just stays with them like they really want you. To share your vision and strategies with your team much openly, the team also will uh, kind of sync with your thoughts and will be better performers. Okay? The leadership these days is nothing much different than what it is. Leadership is leadership. So what's the difference is that because you are not right in front of them, the influence does not happen face to face. Okay? So usually what happens when your manager just walks by or somebody is just instructing something, there is a hierarchy because of which people fall. But uh, the future of leadership is not going to be the future of leadership is going to be you being the one person present for your team. So it's going to be you and your team together creating something for another team. So this small uh, module of you and your team and another leader and their team all together will combine uh, combinedly contribute towards the corporate. This is what was intended as well when the corporate was created. But if you look at it, things have been different because when you move up the hierarchy, that hierarchy was more uh, influential than the person themselves. But going forward, that is not going to happen. Even if a person is getting uh, promoted, then we see a lot of friction to the managers and the team itself. Right? This is because there is only a hierarchical um, uh, influence between the leader and the team. Okay. What we are trying to avoid in ourselves so that we prepare as a future leaders is that we prepare ourselves as a presence for our team. Alright? So to improve your presence and to influence them, we have to step ahead. Consider the team is more important than myself. If the team is more important than me, then I will do certain things which will automatically the, the team will see and influence okay so there's a transformation that needs to happen within ourselves to groom ourselves as leaders all right so i hope this uh, small tip was very informative and useful for you to grow yourself as a future leader okay but if you're interested in uh, such topics and very interesting tips for you to grow as leaders and come up as a very good influencer in this um, corporate world Please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell button. Comment below what is your takeaway and what is your opinion about it. And also don't forget to join my Facebook group. Okay? See you soon with another good episode. Bye-bye.